guys, it's Holly here for PlayStation Access. Now, those of you who follow me on Twitter know I am a massive fan of Final Fantasy XIV and I am meeting the man himself. I am here with Yoshida-san and today we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV and the upcoming expansion, Heaven's Ward. Now, I would really, really like to know what it's been like working on Final Fantasy XIV. Big MMOs today are struggling to maintain their subscription model and maintain their fan base. But Final Fantasy XIV is going from strength to strength. Why do you think this one is standing the test of time? So in response to the first part of the question, what's it like? With Heavensward, there's just so much content that we've put into this expansion, not just the volume of the main story quest itself, there's so much available to our players. We're dying to complete our master version and finish up the game. Having members of the media play our initial version of the demo and get their hands on the game is such a great thing to see that it's all coming together. In terms of how we've been keeping up as an MMORPG, of course with the Realm Reborn, we were at the phase where we were rebuilding and relaunching Final Fantasy XIV. But now that we've shifted into a sort of operation phase, we feel that we're building with each individual step. It's not just about one major update, but because we're able to constantly update, continue to provide good quality content at a regular pace, make sure that we stick to the plan and communicate with our community. I think that's what's helping us to go from strength to strength. I've been on Final Fantasy XIV for a full five years at this point, and if it wasn't for the player support throughout the years, we wouldn't have gotten this far. It's been a great motivation for us, giving us the energy to keep pursuing, to keep maintaining and updating our game. We want to keep this relationship going. Just like game content, it's really something that should be expected of Final Fantasy XIV. You keep mentioning community and how important they are. What influence did the community have on Heaven's Ward? What ideas did you go, that's brilliant, that's crazy? That won't work, but we'll try this instead. Which bits do you pull through and how do you, how do you get that feedback? We really do have a lot of players on Final Fantasy XIV who like to give us feedback on the game. But we've also noticed that player feedback is contradictory. Some people say we want more casual content, and then some people want more hardcore tough content. So we can't just listen and feedback directly into the game. Because of this difference in the opinions, we have to take some things into consideration. So if there's a lot of feedback about a particular issue saying we want you to remove this mechanic or make it easier or smoother for us to clear this content, we don't automatically accept this part of the feedback. We think about the reasoning behind it. Why do people want this to happen? And then we apply this to future content, something that we'll incorporate maybe in the next installment or major update. For example, if there's some content that makes players argue and fight between each other, we look at that. Or if certain content requires for player relationships to be really strong, where you have to cooperate incredibly closely to get through, we need to figure out what's causing that stress and by the next update we can ease the problem and make the gameplay experience more enjoyable. And then in terms of feedback about we want much harder content or more casual content, that's actually more straightforward because we can just offer a harder, more extreme mode, a savage mode, or a much smoother, easier mode. Literally every day we have what we call the community teams in each region to make sure that we are looking at the forums all the time, making sure we listen to the comments that are being brought to our attention. The community team compiles that feedback and delivers it to the development teams, and in that way we build the relationship between the community and the development team. That means if there are things that can be applied in the next update, we can promise that and let the community know when they'll be implementing it, or whether we need to put it off to a larger scale update. It's a very integral and important part of the process. And I want to add one last thing with regard to the community and the forums. The forum moderators that handle the different feedback that's being brought to our attention, they wish for all the world to be able to fix these issues as soon as possible, but unfortunately, sometimes there's a bit of a delay. Sometimes it's a development matter and they're just not able to address it immediately. So please, everybody on the forums, please be nice to our forum moderators. Very finally, I would love to know how we're going to get more people to play because there are so many Final Fantasy fans out there that maybe have yet to experience uh, A Realm Reborn. And Heaven's Ward is the perfect time to go back out there and say, this game is here, it is very much alive, and people are really enjoying it. But how do we still make that accessible to them? Because MMOs can sometimes scare people in a way that a single player Final Fantasy experience, like we've had with Final Fantasy XV Episode Desuke, they feel they can relate to that, but may be scared by Final Fantasy XIV. Since we are at Heaven's Ward PR event, I should mention the new features that are going to be incorporated into the expansion, but we've made adjustments to the Realm Reborn side as well. 
for players who are starting Final Fantasy XIV for the first time. So basically, just by playing through the main scenarios, the main story quests, you should be able to obtain more than double the XP that you would have originally, so that you can transition smoothly and progress at a pretty rapid pace. You'll also be able to obtain powerful items by playing the main story quests, without having to do too many side quests. We want to make it like if you had a box set of a TV series and you're binge watching the episodes all in one go. Another adjustment we've made on the Realm Reborn side is that when you're in the Duty Finder, if you haven't completed that bit of content before, you're put on a priority list so that you're matched quicker. It's just set up so that before you know it, you've already leveled up enough to catch up with those existing players who are ready to jump into the Heaven's Ward Realm. We also offer a free trial so that players can download the initial portion of the game for free and play to a certain point. And if you like it and you're enjoying playing through the first part, we would encourage you to get the all-in-one bundle pack, which will bring you right up to date with the Realm Reborn and the Heaven's Ward. Think of this like Season 2, it's very exciting. We encourage players not to be daunted by starting with the first part of the Final Fantasy XIV story. Now to finish, uh, I am part of a free company in mm -hmm. the UK called the Nashi Red Wings. Mm -hmm. And this free company to me have become some of my best friends. I have met yeah. them and we will probably be friends for life. Now we have these very stylish yeah, hoodies yeah, yeah. that we so wear cool. wherever mm -hmm. we go out. And we have made one for you. And the Nashi mm -hmm. Red Wings would like to present you with your very oh. own hoodie. Oh, sucks. <laughs> They don't know we've had this made, so oh. once they finally see this and they see you with your... There you go. But uh, it, it's been amazing. We've met so many friends and played my, so many great games. My names. There you go. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. For the amazing experience we've had with Final Fantasy XIV, I'm very, very excited to play Heaven's Ward to unlock more content and to be a better tank and a better <laughs> warrior. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Not only do we have this interview, we have another video with all of our Heaven's Ward information on it, so don't forget to stay tuned to the YouTube channel.